Yeah, good morning. We're getting crafty here in Central for our zip trip. I'm here with the collaboration station. Celeste is the, the lady behind this collaboration. Yes. Thank you so much for having us in. I'm, I'm trying to get my craft on and get it all the fall vibes channeled, you're but uh, I'm not as good as you are. But I really love the idea of, about behind the collaboration station. Yes. You're talking about during the pandemic, of course, a lot of people weren't being collaborative. Yes. And this is kind of reclaiming that in, in your business format, which is awesome. Yes, you know, we moved here prior to the pandemic, and I noticed that a lot of locals also did as well, mm -hmm. and they didn't have a place to go just to get together and meet each other. So the Collaboration Station, the name came from actually to collaborate. It's an activity that you do together, to come together and actually make something together. In and small communities, th that collaboration yes. is so important, because you were talking about, you know, some of the first classes you're teaching are going to be, like, focused on produce. You guys have a new produce yes. shop here, so really I incorporating them as well. Yes, we have a new produce market. So our um, store, it, it's not going to open until the fall, November time frame. So we are working with local businesses to host our classes. Our first one is September 9th. It's an herb, a fall herb class, and we're using the produce market actually to host our class. I already want to sign up for that because, like I was saying, the DIY and just yeah. knowing a lot of things about herbs and things that you can make at home yes. really gained popularity during the, the pandemic. So uh, one of the other classes you're going to be doing is some of these crafty things. You were talking about how today is National Lazy Moms Day. It is. And we were like, those are not synonymous. There's no such thing no. as a lazy mom because no. moms have to be busy all the time, yes. right? As a mom, you feel the pressure of everything. So yeah. You love to have a lazy day, but it's also you're feeling the fall vibes with the cool autumn air right now. Yes. So we're just going to do a quick tutorial on how to turn just a simple blank wooden disc I got at Hobby Lobby a six pack of them into something simple like this within a few minutes okay and I'm already working on mine I'm not really sure what I'm doing but this is what the classes are for right yes you're doing a <laughs> phenomenal job painting now you can either stain your board and I know we all have extra stain laying around the house if you don't have brushes if you don't have anything don't worry about it this one I actually just used a glove and a napkin and I just put the stain on the back of this. I mean, that's incredible. You were talking about like in the little pattern you're using are these yes, little it's actually little napkins. A that... decorative napkin. I also got those at Hobby Lobby. So cut your napkin and then pull the pieces apart and you use Mod Podge. So go ahead and paint your surface. Let it dry. It only takes a few minutes to dry. Mod Podge is just an uh, adhesive. However, if you don't have Mod Podge at home, again, just use um, a third a cup of water and one cup of glue just elmer's glue go ahead and steal some of your kids glue at home. <laughs> so you can improvise a little bit absolutely which I moms mean, are used to doing <laughs> the exciting thing about crafting is it doesn't have to be perfect so and i love too you can find some like napkins and stuff yeah. at thrift stores you can kind of save a little bit of money on that if oh, you don't yeah. want to go and you to can one use the, tissue paper as well for yeah gift bags so probably got some leftover stuff from the holidays or absolutely. cleaning out that that paper so just go ahead and lay your lay your napkin over that you're going to press down very well and then you're going to take your Mod Podge and go over it. And this is really, like you said, pretty easy, especially right now when people are in the fall mood, yes. feeling some, a little bit of those uh, fall-like temperatures today especially. Yes. So this is a great activity to, to do. So go ahead and just get it on your edges. And then you're just going to fold that napkin over on the back. So your hands are going to get a little messy unless you're in gloves. <laughs> but it's basically paper macheing it. To the back of the board. This so, seems easy enough for like in, anybody to absolutely. do, which is great. Anybody, anybody can do that. So this right here, though, I wanted to showcase because a lot of us don't have die cutting machines or stuff like to make a cricket. With. Yeah. Cricket. So this is actually just graphite paper that I got at Michaels, and I printed off just a simple font on my on a Word document. Um, you trace over what you want to write on the graphite paper, and I just taped it down. And, and then look at that. Off. There you go. And so you can take a Sharpie and just go over it to make it a little nicer. Put some nice leaves or something, hot glue. And then air. you got yourself a nice little decorative thing, which turns out like this. It does. They're telling us we got a wrap, but um, Celeste, where can we find out more information to get up, up to date on your opening in November? CentralCollaboration.com or follow us on the Collaboration Station on Facebook, Instagram, all social media platforms. Awesome. Thank you so much and for what you're doing here for the community. Got to sign up for those classes. We'll be sure to put it at our website.